Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Marlon. And we're at the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press covering the Orfila Foundation's UCSB Arts and Lectures presentation of Race to Nowhere. And we'll be interviewing the director and members of the panel and audience members after they're leaving the film. You have to do well now so you can get into a good college. Everyone expects us to be superheroes. You have a fear from the parents that my kid needs to be able to get a job. How do you expect us to do well when you can't even make mistakes? You're dedicating your whole life to your grades. You have to be smart and you have to be involved in the arts. I have soccer practice every day, plus the homework on top of that. Produce, produce, produce. It's impossible. I couldn't cope. Hi, I'm Emily from the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press. And I'm Marlon. And we're here with... Vicki Abelace. Um, did you face some of the issues of school-related stress when you were a student? Uh, not really, and that's one of the things that got me started on this film. When I saw my daughter in seventh grade start to experience anxiety and pressure from school, I thought back, even in law school, I didn't feel as much pressure as my kids do today. And how did your daughter's panic attacks influence how you dealt with her stress? Um, well, I, I think not only did her panic attacks, you know, when, when your child starts to have uh, is suffering in terms of a physical condition, um, that becomes a priority. There's nothing more important than health. And so um, we made that our priority as a family at that time. I can't really remember the last time I had a chance to go in the backyard and just run around. My mom checked me into a stress center. And then as I started talking to parents and teachers and other students in other communities, I realized how widespread the issues that my family was experiencing were, and that's why I decided to make this film. All right, and um, last year when we interviewed Louis Sequoias, who got the Academy Award for Best Documentary, um, he said films are weapons of mass construction. Um, how, how has your film made positive changes? Well, I think just by bringing communities together like today and allowing everybody to acknowledge uh, how their own experiences are reflected in this film, I think that's a really positive start. My hope is that um, students like the two of you who see this film will be inspired to see the, power, the powerful way that media can be used in a positive way. And so we're starting to see conversations happen between parents and students that might not have otherwise happened, uh, conversations between your teachers and students. And so I think this is going to inspire change at a lot of levels. These kids come to the table with this creativity and this love of learning. Let's just not take it out of them. I think the United States really needs to rethink how we do schooling. The economic future of the country depends on our addressing this. We need to redefine success for kids. It's got to be something we do together. All of us as a society, almost as a movement. Jobs need you to be a critical thinker. They need you to be a problem solver. We need to really think, what does it take to produce a happy, motivated, creative human being? 